Today we're taking a look at the Lucky Punks Mint. Welcome back to LimeTube and if you enjoy my videos please leave a like, comment and subscribe. It's free to do so and helps me massively. Lucky Punks is an NFT project minting on 7th of February. This project was due to mint last week but it's been pushed back till tomorrow and you can see the artwork are these little characters. They've got that cute meta going for them. So let's take a look at the website and we'll head over to their Twitter to talk a bit more about the mint. So the lore of this is as follows. The origin of the Manikai Neko, the first of the Lucky Punks, harks back to a 17th century Japanese temple known as Tama. His legendary aura of luck, fortune and prosperity rouses fervor and fortune in all who choose his path. They've also got a little video to explain the lore in a bit more detail as well which I suggest you check out if you're interested in. When we head over to the team, there's Andy, Dave and Justin, who are founding partners of the project. And I'll jump a little into their details on the white paper as well. But if you click on these, you can get access to their LinkedIn profiles as well. For example, here, it loads up with Justin's uh, LinkedIn profile and you can check out all the details regarding his career. So, we are the punks. Behold our brethren of expertly crafted avatars now awakened and ready to run riot. 7,777 lucky punks. Every one of us unique created by a creative team with over two decades of digital experience working with global brands. Lab grown to bring the concept of luck on chain, we utilise luck as a trait. The luck will determine the journey you choose. Do you feel lucky? Here on the right you can see examples of some of the NFTs and I do actually really like the look of these NFTs. I think they are pretty cool. It looks like some of them will be animated with the waving hand as well but I don't imagine all of them are animated. As we check over the roadmap you can see here there's different I guess Japanese words written as part of the roadmap but it's very similar to most projects. So Ben's item will be the release of Lucky Punk's Genesis NFT, but there'll also be an amulet airdrop to all holders. Juro Jin will be the Lucky Punk's amulet staking and the luck levels launch. So there's going to be staking included into this, but you need the amulet to stake. Fukuro Kuju is the first Lucky Punk's live event. So they're going to have live events and also release a Lucky Punk's Z NFT collection. The Z, which we now know stands for zombie. So there's going to be a zombie version of this collection. And then Hote is the Lucky Punk's physical toy. They're planning to bring out merchandise alongside this. So really try building that brand as well. Then there's Ebisu, which is the Lucky Punks Marketplace launch and the Lucky Punks Streetwear. So I imagine the marketplace will be most like others where they'll raffle off uh, whitelist spots for other projects and also probably give away some merchandise on the marketplace as well. And if the branded takes off, the streetwear will be cool to wear as well. Then there's Daikoku, which is the DAO, and Bisha Monten, which is the governance token ICO launch of LPX and the Lucky 7 Club event launch. So what are these lucky amulets? So luck is generated by staking your lucky punks and amulet, allowing you to progress through the lucky punks ecosystem. Amulets will be airdropped post launch to all holders and can be used to generate luck through staking. Amulets have four rarity levels. The rarer your amulet, the greater the luck multiplier while staking, with the final level providing coveted access to the Lucky 7 Club. And here on the right you can see the different styles of amulets going from uncommon to common to rare and also I guess in legendary. Yep, and legendary here. So FAQs, are Lucky Punks a good investment? Probably the question we all want to know. The success of the project depends on many factors. It's impossible to guarantee how it would go, but we totally believe in the brand and that it has a bright future. Ultimately though, you will have to decide for yourself. Only spend the money if you can afford to do so. I would class Lucky Punks kind of like a DGEN play, but actually my initial thoughts of it being a DGEN play has changed recently to more Let's see what can happen with this project. So how many Lucky Punks can I mint? You'll be able to mint two Lucky Punks per wallet. Do you have a future roadmap? They sure do and it's in seven phases. So the release of the NFT collection, the amulet airdrop to holders, amulet staking, luck level launch, Lucky Punks live event, release of the zombie NFT collection, 
physical toy marketplace launch, streetwear, DAO and the token ICO launch. What rarity tiers and traits categories will be applied? So there's different rarity tiers, there's the Lucky 7, Infamous and Famous, Legend and Masters, Original Crew, then the traits are the body, headwear, eyewear, mouth, clothing, background, clan, hair and facial hair. So what is luck and how does it work? Luck is how you progress in the Lucky Points ecosystem. It's going to be generated by staking both your points and amulets. The amulets are going to be a separate NFT collection. All Lucky Punks are born with zero luck. Once you've received your airdropped amulet, you're ready to combine this with your Lucky Punks, begin staking and generating luck. Luck can be invested to increase the luck levels of the Lucky Punks NFT and can also be used to purchase items in the Lucky Punks marketplace. There are four luck levels with the final level providing coveted access to the Lucky 7 Club. As your NFT luck level does not correlate with the rarity of your Lucky Punks, a common NFT can still ascend to the Lucky 7 Club. So what are the amulets and when will they be airdropped to holders? Lucky Punks amulets can be used to generate luck through staking and they will be airdropped post launch. How do I stake my Lucky Punks NFT? You'll be able to stake it once the amulets are airdropped and it will probably be on this website to generate the luck token. So what is the Lucky 7 Club and what is its future? The Lucky 7 Club is a hyper-exclusive subgroup within the Lucky Punks community and broader ecosystem. Many benefits will bestow members of the Lucky 7 Club, both in the physical and metaphysical world. Our aim is to make this club symbiotic with the real utility and exclusivity. What rights are we given holders? The holders will own the IP of the NFT and it is permitted to use an NFT however they like as long as they own that particular one. That brings us to the end of their website, but as mentioned, they do have a white paper as well where they provide a lot of similar information as well. But I did want to talk a bit more about the team as well. So here we will eventually get to the team. Here we've got Justin, Andy and Dave. And here you can see some of the brands that Dave has been working for including Sky, Channel 5, Disney, The Home Office and Black & Decker. He's also worked as a creative for agencies and brands including L'Oreal, Dyson and Sega as well. Andy, who's also a founding member, has also worked with iconic brands including Apple, Mercedes-Benz, Singapore Airlines, Disney and Hershey. Justin joined the same agency as Dave and Andy and that's how they met and Justin owns the established technology agency joined forces with Dave's creative agency Spice Rack in Bristol. So they've all been working together for a while now and I guess that's where they've put the idea of this project together as well. Justin's expertise and interest in the kind of technology underpinning crypto and decentralised digital marketing aligned very obviously with Lucky Punks. So they're a docs team which is always a good green flag to have and they've also been quite open and I do really like that NFT style. Over at their Twitter you can see they've got 17,000 followers so not really that many followers in comparison to some projects um, especially when there's 7,777 NFTs available. But here you can see on their pinned tweet details about the NFT mint. So there's going to be 7,777 NFTs. It's going to be a free mint and you can mint two per wallet. If you have an ambassador role, you'd be able to mint three per wallet. Phase one of the whitelist starts at 3 p.m. GMT time and it will end at 22.59 GMT time. And phase two will begin shortly after at 23 GMT and it will finish once supply runs out. Here you can see phase one of the mint will be over allocated by two times the amount. So if I was them, I'd be hoping to mint out during whitelist. But here's a thread they posted on Jam 31st when they were originally meant to mint. Here they say, we're not the first and we won't be the last. Late mint, but yeah, damn. Anyway, what we've done today is significant and the right thing to do. In our final testing with full volume of expected traffic and wallets, we discovered a noticeable performance issue. And they basically looked into the issues and decided to delay Mint. So they postponed Mint by a day to 1st of February. The original NFT price was meant to be 0.03 for whitelist and 0.05 for public. But after listening to the community, they reduced it to 0.025 and 0.04 respectively. At the time I thought it was fairly reasonable price. It does have the potential to mint out but most likely it would have been a slow mint because there's a high number of NFTs 
for a fairly high price in comparison to some projects right now, especially given the size of their following. I don't think they quite amassed enough followers to be having that many NFTs at this price. However, what ended up happening during Mint Day is there was delays and delays and eventually there was too many issues with the Mint that not many people got around to minting. Some people on whitelist were not able to mint either, so that obviously didn't help the situation. When minting was ready, there was a couple of different OpenSea pages because they changed the code, it released new versions of OpenSea, which also does cause confusion. And ultimately, they paid the price with having an unsuccessful mint. However, they've not given up and moving to a free mint may prove beneficial for them. However, having said that, over at the Discord, since the first mint, the volume of conversation has died down. Here you can see I posted a question at 8.47 today and it is now uh, half an hour later and I've not seen a response. So unfortunately the conversations have died down a little but maybe they'll pick back up tomorrow during Mint. Ultimately given that it's a free Mint that has got the potential to do quite well. I do like the artwork. I do think it's quite nice and it's got um, some uniqueness about it as well but given that it failed its initial mint and a lot of people left the community and normally when this happens and FUD occurs it's hard to gain traction again. I reckon there will probably be a supply cut if people aren't minting this potentially even going as low as 777 but given the fact that it's free it could be a bit higher. Let me know your thoughts on Lucky Punks in the comments below and as always if you enjoyed the video please leave a like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much. Thank you.